what up guys good morning a beautiful day to be honest i haven't sleep i was waiting like the whole night just to have this beautiful sunrise to give it a chance to jack preval fishing uh i'm gonna try to catch jack preval a little bit wavy day so wish me good luck and i hope to catch one please or just to walk the beach, you know, it's beautiful. Enjoy, guys. All right, guys, there's no Jack Rival. They were surfing around five in the morning. I thought they would be here by, uh, by seven, but uh, they're not, they were gone already. The tide was good from five in the morning was really good but not anymore at this time maybe tomorrow hey what up guys welcome back to a new video i got a question from paul a subscriber from youtube he was asking like why do after uh dumping my fly rod into the water when i use both hands to release the fish so today i'm gonna show you what i do after that so enjoy the video guys so this is a container where i collect rainwater, guys so i'm gonna dump it here for about five minutes this is just water with 10 percent of vinegar towel oil the machines and this is grease, it's just grease for machines, wells, mechanic. I open the thing, release the spool, put it on the side, take my towel, we put some oil in the towel, and we basically gonna like clean everything, take all the salt all the dust or like everything you could see white sticking in the metal so you just clean really nice make it shine and we go on the other side as well same thing once we just clean this thing really nice and you, you, you feel it's okay on on this reel let me explain something this rack system you get to see there's one screw here another screw back here another here so this is a sealed drag system so it's all protected so it's, this is made for salt water it will like hold a big amount of pressure before the water leaks inside so the only thing i'm gonna do to this reel basically is take a little bit of grease like that nothing and I'm just gonna put it here where where the drag usually where where this where the knob works just to keep it nice and smooth you don't have to really use that much but that keep the, the area lubricated you know so for me this is the the easiest one to work with just like that I don't really have to use that much so the other way guys when I'm home when it's late I'm not I don't have like sunlight to be out here what I do is I go inside the house and start spraying with this like that on the reel like in the inside and everything um, let it soak for a bit there um, and then clean it after with some more water just to take all the salt away and doing the same process putting grease on it and that's it so I'm gonna clip this back in I don't want to make this video long trust me guys this is one so this is the Lamson this is a little bit different system the good thing of this one is that you could go all the way inside of the drag system so you can clean it really well so what I'm gonna do in this reel is push with my two fingers down 
and release the spool. So I pull the spool away and you can dump it into the water or you could do it at home with this. The good thing of doing this way that you're gonna save a lot of water. You just spray what you need, spray the fly line, spray the thing, take your towel and start cleaning or drying the reel very well. This is like super simple to do guys. Like everyone does it at home. Rinse and clean everything. It's just an example. Just make this video super short. What I'm gonna do now is in this reel here, this knob, you see this knob here? It's gonna release that little lead off. Pull it apart and there is um the drag system is right there inside. It's the good thing of the lamps and that you can just flip it and you can pull the thing off. So what I do after, you know, is just clean this thing really well, take some grease and I'm gonna just put it around this drag and also I'm gonna put some grease inside, just inside the hole and I'm gonna dump it into place that is right here. There it is. I put it inside in the position it's supposed to be and put the lid on again. Uh, people working in the back, thank you very much, making noise. So that's it guys, here it's very simple. I just put some grease to repel the salt water away from my drag system so that's a good thing and another tip just before to put it assemble everything like together put it in front of the fan for about two hours to dry your backing and fly line so that's it in both reels when you finish everything just put it to dry for about a couple hours or over the night to make it even better super dry and if you have some time, just take some time, pull your fly line and clean the fly line as well. So you, you do both things at the same time. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this video. This is the end. It's super simple to clean your reel. The most important thing is to use grease, put it in the drag system. If you have a lamp, so open it, open the lid and put some grease inside the thing to repel the salt water, you know? is very important so you could do it in the way you like with soap or whatever but you have to lubricate the thing after rinsing and cleaning so this is the way i do at my house and when i do it i clean my fly line at the same time so i do two things in, like in one night for the next day i'm ready so thank you very much for watching the video guys if you have another suggestion for another video leave it down below in the comments and i'll be happy to make a video about it have a good day guys if you go fishing enjoy and see you in the next one guys bye